Hi everyone and welcome to Still Single. Still Single helps single Christian women find contentment, joy and hope in their single season. So I'm just going to do this video um, and talk about people who are experiencing like post breakup or post situationships or post um, dating encounters that you thought were going one way and then end up not going anywhere at all. Um, and I'm going to start with a story. So back in maybe 2014, um, yeah, 2014, I was talking to this guy um, and I really like this guy. And I think, I think for me, I was 18 and maybe 19, actually, 19. And I remember thinking like, uh, for me, I really, yeah, I really liked him and I, hadn't I hadn't dated a lot obviously because I was like still in school and then I went to uni and then um at 18 I sort of gave my life to Christ like I really like believed in God and everything and really had a revelation of God so when I was like 18 19 19 um I think I was where'd I go this guy actually went to my college and I um I didn't really know him at college, if that makes sense. But you know when you know people briefly in passing. So then in uni, I got to like know him better. So I think I went through maybe the summer, like speaking to him regularly on the phone. And in my 19 year old mind, I was like, this is the guy for me. I was really happy, really excited. And he was a good person in terms of like, I liked him because he was like, um a leader like he led things in church he um had the same values as me um had the same background as me and I just really liked him and I remember thinking like oh like I'm on my way to like get getting into a relationship finally and then obviously the summer had passed and I think we like he wasn't calling me as much and I think in my mind I was kind of like oh this isn't going anywhere but I was very very disappointed and his name is Austin in um Austin in um Still Single so if you want to read the book Still Single the link is in the description you can buy it and you can read all about all of my random and short brief crazy encounters with some of the guys that I have entertained so with Austin um I was like very disappointed and I think in my mind I was like I think it was like the summertime and then um it was like maybe an autumn period of like no communication and I was just like oh, this is over then me and with my naive mind when it was in I think it was like February and I think it was like Valentine's Day and I was like if there's no message on Valentine's Day then I know it's actually over like then, then I know that nothing is coming of this and I remember it was it was Valentine's Day had passed and I was like yes sadly this is confirmation that this is not going to be a relationship I haven't spoken to him in a while and then I think that was like it's just sealed the day for me so I'm like I think I spent like a week not talking to God because I was like I am so upset I'm so upset it's like why is my story different why can't I just be in a relationship like everybody else why can't I just be in a relationship with this guy I like him I think he likes me whatever and I was just upset with God and I was just like I just hated the fact that in my life, that was the part of my life that never ever worked out and it irritated me and it made me so angry. And I remember like I spent a week like not praying, not reading my Bible, not doing anything. And I remember one day I was just in my uni room and I was like, I don't think I can continue like harboring all of this bitterness and, and ang anger um, towards God. So, you know, when you give your little, I gave like a really frustrated prayer and I was like, Lord, like, I just hate being single. I hate the fact that you've just sort of like this situation hasn't gone the way it's expected. I've wasted my time. I've like, I was just annoyed. And I remember like being on my like knees and I was literally crying, but praying. And I just had like a strong revelation of God in that moment. And I had, cause I was a new believer, I never really encountered God. I'd never encountered God like in that way before. So I remember like just the Holy Spirit continuously like speaking to me and saying that he has like planned my life. My husband is coming soon. Like all of these like promises, especially my husband is coming soon. That was the main promise. And I remember thinking, oh, wow, like God loves me. And I just had an overwhelming sense of God's love and God's like care and God's like 
really um, hearing me, you know, in that moment. It was like, I just had like a promise and I was like, oh wow, like God actually hears me. And from that, I was just like, wow, like I was really like blown away from that. And I think what I, how, what I want to, I want to use this story to encourage you. The reason why I want to use the story to encourage you is not it's not the promise that I got that made me think wow like oh my gosh it was that that moment of me going on my knees and praying and me giving God like the unfiltered truth of this single season that I hated and that I hated I feel like I was always like getting the short end of the stick it was the fact that still single was birthed from that moment so that moment wasn't just me having a moment with God it was like yes I did have a moment with God but something from the pain birthed purpose and I think we see in the Bible how like Ezekiel valley of the dry bones something that looks dead and something new comes to life and our Christian walk is something is dead like Jesus died and something new comes to life as in he is raised from the dead and God specializes in dead situations and making them come to life that there's like something that is birthed out of the pain and out of the struggle i can't sit here and say oh everyone's gonna have a promise like mine or your husband is coming tomorrow or in the next year i can't say that but what i do know is that when things end sometimes god brings something new out of it and obviously through that experience of me like bawling my eyes out and crying to God like why is my situation like this those unfiltered thoughts I had obviously journaled it down because I keep a journal journals so I journaled it all down and then as time progressed like a few years later the Lord was like why do you make it into a book and I made it into a book getting pins and needles from sitting on my legs and then um and then that was that and I wanted to give you another story as well some years ago I was talking to this other guy and it didn't work out and from that I was like god this is just you know when things don't work out to the point where you're just like this is such a waste of time like why did I go through what I went through I would have rather the lord have said to me and what annoyed me was like I was like lord why didn't you just tell me this person wasn't for me at the beginning then that way I wouldn't have spent three or four months talking to this person meeting up with this person and thinking that you know we're going to be in a relationship and what annoyed me as well with that is you know with relationships and stuff and dating there's always like there's like the there's like a dating phase that's just really on the tip of being into a relationship like just the tip like it's just one conversation away one conversation away from being in a relationship and I feel like that was the closest I ever got and it annoyed me that it got that far and God was like oh I don't really think this is the person for you and I was like you had the three months to tell me that you don't think this was the person for me and I remember God being like he really had to like in that season he had to really say to me I know what I'm doing like I know what I'm doing trust me I know what I'm doing and I was like wow because this is really something so anyway that story like that whole encounter with that guy that it didn't work out I've spent like year a few years and my whole life changed like things have changed so much and I think if not for that experience in as much as I regretted a lot of things and I just regretted ever like entertaining and ever like getting into that situation I regretted it deeply like months later the Lord used that to bring some sort of transformation in my life within myself that I would have never reached like an inward transformation of me um that I would have never reached and I think in some ways I am grateful for that encounter and that experience because something was birthed out of it once again like back then when I was eight, nineteen, you know of me like that whole experience birthing still single this experience birthed something else in me changing my, not my personality but a deep work within me that couldn't have been done if not for that experience um to do with like forgiveness to do with my own personalities of how I think and feel and how I relate to people and how I look at people and how I think about myself, how I deal with my own emotions, so many things that were personal that the Lord used through that experience. Um, so 
this is to encourage you that you might be in a season of breakup or like things have not worked out like the way you expected it to work out but god really can do something with that pain and he can really birth something new and it may not be new like oh a relationship or a husband like yes ideally in our minds like as christians and human beings were like it would just be nice to like you know be in that like almost relationship or that post breakup and then your husband walks right through the door but we know that life isn't always like that life isn't always how we expect things to go or like the best case scenario in our own minds but god obviously does what he wants to do and like he can do something new and i think there's a hill song song and it's like um it, I can't remember how it goes, but the chorus is like, Jesus, you're not done with me. You're doing a new thing. You're doing a new thing. For all I've seen, I still believe. You're doing a new thing. And I think God really does do a new thing. And I think sometimes it's a case of it. And I think obviously that that song is referencing the scripture of, um, can you not perceive it? He's doing a new thing. And like god will use that pain god will use that suffering god will use that relationship that didn't work out to do a new thing um so be encouraged that god really does a new thing and another story actually i'll just say this um i had like a really really bad like job at one point in my life and when i when i had experienced that job that was really really bad it was like I just kind of wanted to like maybe travel for a bit and then come back to like reality and I remember like I applied for like a job I quit that job abruptly because I was like I just can't continue to let this job ruin me the way it's constantly trying to ruin me and I remember like God just I had like I quit the job and I didn't have anything lined up but I didn't really care because I was like I need to leave and then like two weeks before it was time to really finish the job the lord found a new job for me and when i got that new job i was just kind of like mm, it's gonna be like any other job you know you know like what like i didn't have any like hopes or expectations because i was like oh, all jobs are the same but then the new job was just like it just blew my mind completely i never knew that i could go from so much pain and suffering to so much like to so much have to, to so much like goodness and having my mind blown with what a job could ever do and it was crazy because you can be in such a season of pain and suffering serious pain and suffering and thinking like there's no way that this situation can be better and then literally around the corner you can literally be in a completely different place in a completely different like situation um because that's what god is able to do so i know that i've not gone through like an, a literal breakup in terms of like I had a boyfriend and he broke up with me or we broke up with each other but I've gone through a lot of moments in my life that have mimicked breakups because you talk to someone all the time and you're basically in a relationship but obviously the titles aren't really there sometimes and but you're getting to know someone and then it hurts it does hurt um and it may not be long encounters like years and years but I feel your pain and I think not i'm not bel belittling your pain or not and i don't know exactly how you feel but i do think that god is able to do something new and god is able to use that pain and suffering for something more and god is so good at using i think it was um sarah jakes that was talking about how like we have leftovers of our lives and we're able to make something of it and god is good at using those leftovers to make something of it um so yeah i hope it hope this video encourages you um, but yeah, take care. Bye.